O M G, everyone. Look what video game it is. It's about ding dang time for more in more ways than one. It's been a hot, hot, hot minute. So here is my playthrough for this year's annual anniversary poll. I know I've been waiting. The poll went up on February 1st, like it usually does every year, and we're sitting here in the beginnings of April already. Thanks, Pikmin 4, for prolonging the start to the poll winning game. But you know what? It just made the anticipation that much better. Welcome everyone to the Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy. But more specifically, we're gonna just play the first game, which is called Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, I believe. So, kind of works out nicely to start here. This is the first time I've loaded up the collection, well, for more than a couple minutes to set up the graphics. But, holy moly, it has been a long, long time since I played a game in this series. And a part of me was holding out hope they would release this as a collection of trilogy, you know, remastered these games. That's part of the reason why I held off for as long as I have. Also, just visual novels are a taxing endeavor for me because I'd like to do all the voice acting. So, uh, yeah. I last played Ace Attorney, you know, uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, uh, Trials and Tribulations back in, I think it was 2016. So that's almost eight years ago. It came out, I think I played it in around May or so. So, yeah. Like, I could have probably played this game you know, via the DS emulator or something, but I just, I don't know, I just never, I never got the, like, but the, I never got bit by the, the, the desire to play this, so I was just like, I'll get to it eventually. Played a bunch of other visual novels in the meantime, right? Danganronpa, AI Somnium Files, shit like that. We had fun with all of them. It's always a good time. But, uh, anyway, I should stop babbling and let's get started here, or at least look at the menu and game selection and the museum and stuff, because this is where we make choices. So... Here's the games that are on this collection. We have uh, Ace Attorney, Apollo Justice. This is the one we're going to play. Uh, just to check, though, the other games on this collection are Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Dual Destinies, which I assume just has some Apollo in it also on top of Phoenix being back. There's also Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice, which, again, if P. Phoenix Wright is in the title... You know he's in it, but I'm assuming Apollo also makes an appearance. And then, I guess this is just the museum that has spoilers, so we shouldn't look at that. Okay, got it. Fair enough. Well, guys, what do I know about Apollo Justice Ace Attorney? Not a ding-dang thing. I really know nothing about this guy. I just, when I first seen it, I was like, what, does Apollo got, does Phoenix got a little disciple now? Is this an entirely different attorney on his own? I don't know. I know nothing about Apollo. I just know that I've never played his games or watched anybody play them, so get ready for dope music and lots of objections. Also, I will note that in the menu there was voice acting options. I don't know if that just means like in the original trilogy where people just kind of went blah blah blah, update that, take that, or if there's actual voice acting. I don't know, but I'm going to be prepared to do all the voices if I have to. <sighs> First Apollo Justice was a DS game. Those other two games were 3DS games. That I did know already, DJ. I could have probably said that, but yeah. I'm aware that this game was on the DS and the other two came out on the 3DS. It's probably why this collection took so long to freaking come out, but I'm glad it's here now. Oh, and I'm playing this on PC for anyone who can't tell based on the buttons. I'm playing it with an Xbox controller on PC. But yeah, let's do this, man. I'm ready. I'm sighted. Let's Here we go. Here's the official title screen for this game, Ace Attorney Apollo Justice. And episode one, Turnabout Trump. Oh boy, Donald Trump's going to be in the first case, y'all. It's like this game has graphics. Showdown time. Ooh, full house versus a full house. Ooh. You lose. Ah! Oh, shoot. Eek! A pe- I mean, what? Damn. Someone got clocked. Rip. 
Someone did not like losing. These are some fancy schmancy cutscenes. I like it. I seem to be in a bit of trouble. Something like that. Dead. Someone hit him. Hard. Me? <laughs> Please. The cop should be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that? Okay. Well, there's a familiar sight for me. Good old District Court Defendant Lobby number 3. April 20th, 9.37 a.m. You guys ready for this? Oh, man. It's like nostalgic even though, you know, I haven't played so long and this is a new game. This screen right here brings me right back. <sighs> here we go. All right, so right off, where, where is Apollo? This is not this is not Pahenix. This is Apollo. But new game, new main character. I'm still gonna do Apollo as like a basic bitch, my voice, because he's gonna do the most talking in the game. No reason to go hard on the main character when I am him. So unless Phoenix shows up, and I have to figure out how to <laughs> differentiate between the two. Here we go. Panicked, palm sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. I can admit it. I'm nervous. And on the surface, I look calm and ready to drop bombs. But I keep on forgetting what I wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. Sorry. He really did go for the Eminem line, though, didn't he? Ah, good morning. Who's this going to be? Hmm? Who the heck is this guy? I seen him in a little intro video thing, but who are you? It's probably another lawyer, I imagine. G good morning, sir. His name is Christoph. <laughs> um... What do I, how do, I don't even know what to do with this guy's voice. Is he going to be a character who's around a lot? Probably. Um, let's just... You look tense, Justice. Wind, wound up tight. I just... I don't know what to do with it right now. W wound up, sir? No, I'm loose. I'm fine. That screeching noise, is that your voice? I suppose it's to be expected. Your first trial and it's a homicide. I guess justice doesn't start small, eh? I, I'm fine. I got up at 5 a.m. to do my Courts of Steel voice workout. I'm fine. Ah, oh, yeah, that explains it. I did detect a certain rasping quality to your speech, or your screech. <coughs> I overdid it again. Nah, it's because I woke up so early, so my voice is, you know, morning voice still, you know? That's how it goes. As you know, your client today is a friend, a good friend of mine. I wouldn't want to let him down if you get my drift. Drift gotten, sir. I I'm all over that drift. As it happens, I dined with him the night of the murder. We can't let this case fall through. Uh, y yes, I I'm fine, sir. One more thing. Don't say you're fine quite so much. People might take you the wrong way. Um, I'll be preparing our case. You might want to introduce yourself to the client. All right, who we got? Who the murderer? My name's Apollo Justice. That's not, I'm not the murderer though. If it isn't clear already, I'm a new attorney. And today's my first trial. Hell yeah. Trial, first trial tutorial, let's go. Oh my God, my voice already went raspy, Jesus. If I lose my voice on the first video of this game, holy crap, that'd be hilarious, but sad at the same time. Anyway, not that I'm worried or anything. The defendant has been accused of murder. My boss wants to help him out, of course, and so do I. <clears throat> I mean, there's no way he did it. Not him. No way. Oh, yeah? This guy? Who this guy? He's looking... He looks like somebody. <clears throat> he looks like somebody. So much for not conflicting voices? What do you mean? I haven't conflicted any voices yet. Unless I've... Just getting my my throat all fucked up. <clears throat> anyway, um, I might just give this guy like a dude bro voice unless he doesn't talk weird. I don't know. Whoa. Good uh, morning. Morning. It's all up to you today. First trial. Nervous. Meeting him. Cardiac arrest. I think I was supposed to say something. Uh, help. <laughs> So you're... Uh, fine. I I'm fine. Uh, Mr. Fine, is it? Uh, I did remember you having an odd name. Well, we're off to a great start. Um, are you sure you're okay? I, I mean, with me? Mr. Gavin's a top-notch defense attorney. 
and he's your friend, so why... You'll see. Uh... You can do it. Be confident. Um, I... I I'm really sorry this happened to you. I, I mean... I mean, I... It's time, shall we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was what it should have sounded like. Okay, I, I need to focus. First trial. Here comes justice! <laughs> oh, God. So much justice puns. You guys ready? It was bad enough when we had right puns. Now we got justice puns. Here they come. April 20th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom 2. Here we go. If we have the same guy presiding over these cases, it's got to be the same guy, right? It, it, you know it is. Look at this courtroom. It's our boy! It's Judge Douchebag! Judge Dum Dum! He's back, y'all. The court is now in session. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, in this guy. <laughs> His hair! <laughs> what is this hair, bro? Oh my god. What is this hair, dude? Do you decide to change it up to make it seem like he's a different person? Because holy shit, the last time we saw him with hair... At least it looked like he had proper hair. Now, this is like the in-between times where his hair starts falling out. Because holy shit, dude. That's hilarious. I can't even get over this haircut right now. He's got the curl on top to like pretend he still has some hair on top. And the rest of it's all long, all anime character style. Hilarious. <sighs> anyway, I gotta do that high-pitched whiny voice for this douchebag because this is him. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Uh... The defense is, uh, uh fine. I, I'm ready. I mean, ready, Your Honor. <sighs> Mine going blank. Mine going blank. Don't panic. Ah, too late. Your name was Mr. Justice, and this is your first trial. Y yes, Your Honor, but I'm fine. Really. Are you quite sure? Your voice sounds a bit strained. Uh, that's because I'm, it's early, and I, I haven't gotten used to doing this many voices yet, and it's been a while, okay? <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Gavin. Oh, uh, this guy's voice is the one I'm gonna have struggle like keeping keeping it going. Yes, Your Honor. I was under the impression that you would be heading up this case. That was my intention, yes. However, a defense attorney must always cede to his client's wishes, and my client specifically requested Mr. Justice. Well, of course he wants justice, but to trust his case to this greenhorn, why? I do not exaggerate when I say that you're the best defense attorney in town, Mr. Gavin. Okay, so Gavin's got trial experience, fine. But does he have cords of steel? <laughs> cords of steel. I don't. My throat is not happening right now, but maybe, you know, we'll pick up the pace as we get we get worked up or we get working on that voice this morning. Then let's begin. The defendant may enter the courtroom. Alright, here we go. What's up, player? What did you do? This is truly an unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry we had to meet again under these circumstances. What do you mean meet again? Wait. Wait. This is Phoenix Wright? This is even... I mean, it looks like him. That's why I looked like... I was like, this looks like somebody. This is Phoenix Wright. With his stubble-ass fucking... Well, now I gotta figure out what to do about voices, because holy shit. Phoenix Wright did it, huh? No, he didn't. He's right. He's Mr. Wright. Well, I didn't expect to see Phoenix in the first fucking trial, but okay. Alright. You're right. Your comment didn't spoil it, although I was like, what, why, what do you mean conflicting voices? I was confused. Okay, so... <laughs> what am I going to do with Mr. Wright's voice? I guess I could just give him that, like, anime pro tag voice that I've been doing. Although, I could just do that for Apollo. You know, like I do for... Like, basically what I do for Mega Man. You know what I mean? Where he's, like... Where it's, like, over the top uh, dramatic. I guess I could just do that. Because Mr. Wright <clears throat> always seemed kind of normal to me, like, talking-wise. But this Apollo dude's very nervous and shit, so... Although, I'm sure he'll get better. This is his first trial, after all. But anyway, okay. Now that I've officially been smacked in the face with a duh, it looks like Phoenix. How the hell did I not notice? 
it was that fucking hat and the stubble that made me kind of think it looks like Phoenix, but I don't know. I didn't. It didn't. I didn't immediately get hit with a hey, that's Phoenix. I don't know why. It's probably because it's been a minute since I played any of these fucking games. That's probably why. So anyway, long time no see, Mr. Wright. <sighs> Let's put the past behind us, shall we? These days, I'm merely Phoenix Wright. Piano player? Piano player? He's a penist? Of course he's a penist. Why, why, why wouldn't Phoenix Wright be a penist? You gotta be shitting me. Mr. Wright, how could this have happened, bro? No, don't put bros. No bros. Just anime protagonist. <laughs> I won't speak of it further, then. If the prosecution would be so kind as to explain the charges, Mr. Payne? To think I saw you into this room of fresh attorney, and now I'll see you leave in chains. Ah, Winston Payne. Subtle as ever, I see. <laughs> Best o friendo. Ahem. The crime occurred at the Borscht Bowl Club, a Russian restaurant. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, took the victim, a customer, and he hit him. Wham! On the head. Smack! Killed him cold! Did he kill him with a fucking clock? I swear to God, if it's a statue that looks like a clock, or a clock that looks like a statue, rather. Talk about some, some references. Hmm, a customer at the restaurant, you say? And the defendant, you say he was... The pianist for the for the club, it seems. Phoenix Wright, a pianist? This is the weapon that took the victim's life. A bottle of grape juice. Oh my god. A bottle of grape juice. Can't we just call it wine? Like, what's wrong with calling it wine? Is that really is it really so wrong to call it wine? Our kid's not gonna know what that means. <sighs> anyway, whatever. It's a bottle of fucking grape juice, because that's what adults drink at a freaking Russian bar slash club, whatever. Grape juice is apparently our defendant's drink of choice. The court accepts the deadly bottle as evidence. Alright, so we got a deadly bottle. Grape juice bottle uses as a murder weapon. Bears the defendant, Mr. Wright's prince. Of course he would be the one that drinks this damn grape juice, though. Something to note, Justice. All evidence is filed in the court record. Make a practice of checking it frequently. The court record? Uh, the court record, right. I heard of that. Use RB to look at the evidence so far. I'm confident in your ability to handle this. Right, just use uh Sounds like it's time for some hands-on action. So, the victim was a customer at this restaurant. But just who was this, um, Shoddy Smith fellow? Shot. Shoddy Smith? Shady Smith? Where's Shoddy at, dude? We need Shoddy for this. Shoddy, where you at, fella? Is this what- I wonder if this is what Shoddy actually looks like. Grape juice is actually the creator's favorite drink. Oh, so he was actually going for grape juice. The creator, Phoenix Wright, loves grape juice. So, apparently so does Pahenix himself. Alright, fine. We believe he was a traveler, your honor. A traveler? According to his passport, he'd been out of the country for a number of years. He had only returned to this country recently, though his place of residence is unclear. And he had some sort of connection with the defendant. That, too, is unclear at present, Your Honor. We believe they first met at the Borscht Bowl Club on the night of the crime. If they'd only just met, then why murder? Perhaps this the victim slighted the defendant's piano playing. That doesn't appear to have been the case. No, the motive had nothing to do with the defendant's lack of playing skill. At least not piano playing. I'll let this photo explain what I mean. Okay. Oh. Bonk. <laughs> As we can see, a game of poker was in progress at the scene of the crime. Wait a second. Isn't poker gambling? That's a crime in and of itself! Oh my god. They're not allowed to play poker? Indeed. It appears our defendant has fallen to become the basis sort of criminal. Oh shit. Already objections, y'all. It is true that the defendant was engaged in a game of poker with the victim. Yet it was only that, a game, in the purest sense. A competition, Your Honor. A competition? Yes, a test of wits. A silent class of pa clash of passions. Only the cards, their backs wreathed in blue flame, know its final outcome. Uh, come again? The cards on the table had blue backs, Your Honor. I believe the defense was waxing poetic in an attempt to mystify those present. And impress women. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Sure, that's what he was going for. That will be our first order of business here, then. To find out more about this fatal game of cards. Well, then I guess testimony time? Very well, defendant. You will testify to the court about the poker competition held the night of the crime. My pleasure. This is it. Uh, my first trial. Uh, here goes nothing. Witness testimony. Oh yeah, baby. Before I get into this, apparently the grape juice is definitely a placeholder for wine, but it's more of a reference than just a ratings thing. I got you. I got you. I guess it's more of a joke than it is like, oh, it's it's a censorship. Like, no, he actually put grape juice, even though it totally is wine. But he did it because that's his favorite drink. I, I, I get it. it I, I, it's understandable. But all right, guys. Here we go. You guys ready for the testimony of Pahenix Wright, the competition? Here we go. I'm a pianist by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. My real job is to take on interested customers over at the poker table. The room where we play and the competition in there are the club's main attractions. The rules are simple. We play a game of poker using two decks of cards. That's all it is. A game. And our customers are happy. Wow. That, that's it? Oh, shoot! Check out that hot reset! Hell yeah, boy! That shit hits hard, dog. Let's go! Been a sub forever. Oh, behave! I'll behave. Thank you for the 15, 52 month resub, Flammy, and that's almost fifty three months. Holy shit! You right? You right? <laughs> Hope you're uh, having a good day, Flammy. Welcome into uh, our first trial of Apollo Justice Ace Attorney and. Uh, Pahenix Wright is on the stand. Apparently he did a murder, or at least, you know, that's the like, accusation at the moment. Anyway, the judge is like, hmm, a pianist who can't play piano. Better than a defense attorney who can't defend. Oh, damn. Very well, the defense may begin the cross-examination. Right, your, uh, right, your honor, uh, my first cross-examination, don't blow it. Are you alright? You're sweating bullets. A bull? It's where? It's a figure of speech, Justice. Your voice sounds strained and raspy, too. My brain feels strained and raspy, sir. You've watched me perform cross-examinations many times. Though you've never done one yourself, have you? Care for a refresher? What to do? Should I ask Mr. Gavin for a refresher course in cross-examination? Of course, because maybe there's some new mechanics to it or something. I don't know. You've actually played all these Ace Attorney games, Flammy, so you know what's up? Perfect. Well, don't be spoilery, you know this. DJs also play, and he doesn't remember anything. Dang, okay, well, here we go then. Let's get re a refresher because I don't remember nothing. Better safe than sorry, especially this early in the game. Yeah, teach me, I know nothing. Indeed, your job, Justice, is to be mindful of the court record and the testimony. Look for inconsistencies in the testimony with what the court record tells you. When you found an inconsistency, that's when you present the conflicting evidence from the court record with R.B. But I didn't hear anything strange at all in that testimony just now. A good sign that you need to press the witness with L.B. for more information. Press him? Don't let the fact that he's remarkable, a remarkable man, hold you, hold you back. Get more information. Uh, but isn't Mr. Wright my client? Well, think you can do it. Yeah, thank you, sir. I think I can do it. <clears throat> I think you better, or we're going to have a problem. Just remember, find any inconsistencies, any lies in the testimony, and reveal them to the court. That is cross-examination. Learn it, know it, do it. Do it. Inconsistencies, lies, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney... Justice for all? As if Phoenix Wright would never lie, and it's up to me to prove it. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Alright, here we go, y'all. Oh boy, here we go. We gotta go through the same thing he just told us, but we gotta press it one by bit by bit. Since this is the first case, I'm sure there's no penalties of pressing everything. Anyway, you've never played any of these, Omega? Well, welcome to the, to the court show. <clears throat> and I know you know better, Flammy. Also, a hey, if it's not a strategy RPG, then Punk didn't know it existed. What's up, Punk? Welcome, man. How you doing? 
Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you along slowly if you don't know what this is, Punk, even though I'm pretty sure you're joking. Anyway, let's press a phoenix, shall we? Press the penis. He's a penis by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. Let's press this boy. Hold him! What the heck? Why you suck at piano? You can hardly play? Oh, I play sometimes, when customers demand it. So I play them one song. That's usually all they want. Is that supposed to be a boast just now? The title of penis is a mask. A respectable face I wear for the world at large. Then why are you really at the Bosch Bowl Club? Alright, so that didn't seem to have any... There's nothing to press, uh, like look at more in there. So it's real jobs to take on customers over at a poker table. Alright, let's press about that. They pay you just to play poker? That would seem to be the case. I'm a professional, after all. Bah! Do not detect pride in that statement. It's just hard for an honest, hard-working member of society like me to imagine. Yes, your imagination was always a bit limited, Winston. <laughs> uh, what? I've played poker for seven years in that little room. And I've never lost once. Wow. What? You see why customers come now? Defeat the undefeated poker champion. It's quite a draw. That is, I'm quite a draw. Damn, Phoenix. Big-headed penis over here. <laughs> but apparently it's been seven years, it sounds like, too. I was going to say, he said he's been playing poker for seven years, which is an interesting thought. Wait, you've never lost... Wait, wait, you never lost once? Not even one time? As I said, I'm a professional. He's played poker for seven years and not lost once? Is that even possible? Of course it's possible. Or is it? The room where we play in the competition in there are the club's main attractions. We're definitely going to press about that. One of your high school buddies is obsessed with this series. Never played any, though. It really doesn't appeal to you, besides the humor. Yeah, I can understand these games not appealing to people because it's a lot of reading. And it, a visual novel doesn't really appeal to a lot of people sometimes. That's probably why the series isn't like, you know... You know, Legend of Zelda level big, Devil May Cry, Resident Evil, uh, Street Fighter level big for Capcom. I said Zelda like because Nintendo stuff, but Capcom stuff. It's kind of like a, a mid-tier Capcom property when it comes to popularity, but lots of people love these games because they're great. But anyway, the room where we play, okay, so that's one of the club's main attractions. He must really believe in the heart of the cards if he hasn't been beaten in seven years. Oh, yeah, dude. He's better than Yugi. <laughs> but even Yugi lost at least a couple times, I think, along the way. But anyway, let's press this fool on this one. The room in the crime scene photo is an attraction? It has quite a history, actually. The Borscht Bowl Club used to be a gathering spot for black market types back in the day. B black market? All in the past. Things like the black market are only on the silver screen nowadays. Suffice it to say that there were a lot of deals being made under the table. Right there in that room. A smoky room. Gambling hoods. You know, just looking at this picture makes me feel bad. The bosses gather around the table, cutting deals safe from the eyes of the law. Meanwhile, a goon keeps watch through the small window. I can practically picture it now. That window does look like it would be good for keeping a lookout, but little else. The room had a few other tricks to it, though it was common knowledge to our regulars. At any rate, they come to play poker in a room steeped in history. Despite the dark past, it was all just good, clean fun. Okay, so so far I don't have any contradictions, but let's keep pressing. The rules are simple that we play a game of poker using two decks of cards. This is one of those ones where I'm like, does anything in the evidence conflict that there's two decks of cards? I thought about this as very specific details with two decks of cards. Who doesn't believe in the heart of the cards? Apparently a lot of people in Yu-Gi-Oh who get wrecked by Yu-Gi. <laughs> but anyway, let's press on this one. Two decks of cards? A simple measure to prevent cheating. If you alternate two decks, no one can slip in no one can slip in cards. There's something else I noticed. In addition to the cards on the table, there are some lying scattered on the floor. Uh-huh. Precisely. Cards on the table, cards on, upon the floor. Each one forming a complete deck. A crime scene painted blue by a sad sweep of cards. It's poetic, really. 
Incidentally, we used two types of cards at the club. One deck of cards was red, the other blue. Hmm. As I recall in your poker, you make five card hands. I can see how it would be easy to cheat. <laughs> yes, a game of hands. Hands? Okay? Okay, well that was the whole thing. This competition you're talking about. I believe the court understands the nature of the game sufficiently. That's right. It was a simple game, after all. Are you sure? Huh? People are not murdered over simple games, Mr. Justice. Defend it. You were in the room every the very moment that the crime occurred. Yet you claim no connection to the crime. Now that's strange. What's strange? I was testifying about the competition that night. Asking me about the crime at this point is against the rules, Your Honor. Of course, I expected to hear a cry of objection from the defense. Uh, <laughs> getting cocky over there? Things like, you're fucking up, bro. I already said a contradiction. You better find it. <laughs> Can we get a different Apollo voice? Might be a bit old having a surfer attorney for the whole game. I mean, I'm not trying to be surfer. It's kind of devolving into that. I, I'm having a hard time figuring out what I want to do with Apollo's voice, I guess. <sighs> There's a funny video on YouTube where Yugi plays a pot of greed and Kaiba's like, that's banned tournament play and basically calls out Yugi for all the things he cheats with. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yugi plays a lot of cards that are probably banned IRL, which is sad but true. Um, What can I do with Apollo's voice? Uh, I completely let that slip by. Don't despair yet, Justice. Sir? Right. There's something I'd like to make clear. Namely, your connection to the case at hand. And I'd like to hear it from you. Sure, why not? Very well. The defendant will attend... Attend? Amend his testimony. Just... Just one little press. Ugh. And I got myself a whole new testimony. You want me to draw inspiration from the hold it objection, maybe? Uh, I'll think about it. I gotta hear it again. I didn't really, like, beat it into my brain how he sounds. But anyway, we got a new, we got an amended testimony on that last one. I plead silence regarding the murder, but I will say I never touched the murder weapon. Huh. Okay. Press that shit. Silence! Uh. The defendant has the right to refuse to testify. I haven't forgotten everything about the law. But why? That clearly puts you at a disadvantage! And it's your job to turn that around in our favor, yes? Great. Like I didn't have enough to do already. Uh. Um, Man, I'm having a hard time switching voices in my head right now. Sorry. It's just so much back and forth. Justice. That is not the voice. Justice, didn't, didn't you detect anything odd about that testimony? Huh? Wait, something he said did ring a little strangely. Just one thing. Now what was it? When you figure it out, I'd suggest presenting evidence. Evidence that contradicts the testimony. A contradiction in Mr. Wright's testimony? Uh, but why? I'd better check the court record. I can't imagine Mr. Wright lying in a testimony. Uh. I don't know why I keep going. <laughs> just, I'm just killing it with the nerves. I'm adding the nervousness to it, you know? <laughs> anyway. Isn't it a little early to be jumping to conclusions? This is your first cross-examination. Take it slow. If you need more information, don't forget to press. Right. Uh, I got it. Uh, I'm fine. Time to listen to that testimony again. Uh, okay, so... I'm sure that the, the wrong thing I need to press on, or whatever, is in this final part, right? Customers are happy. I plead silence regarding the murder, but I will say I never touched the murder weapon. Let me press this one more time. Let me pay attention. Okay, also, let me see what my... <clears throat> Sorry, my, <clears throat> my... Wow, hold on. Man, my morning throat has not gone away yet, and these voices are not helping. You can skip text with B or something. Oh, maybe. Um, Alright, so... 
let's take a look at our evidence. We have Smith's autopsy report. So his name is Shoddy Smith. We don't know how old he is. He's male. He died on April 17th, which was three days ago, between 1.45 and 2.15 a.m. Cause of death, cerebral hemorrhaging resulting from a blunt trauma to the forehead. And that is all it says. Okay. <clears throat> now, here's a picture of what's going on here. Trying to see if there's any contradiction we see here. I mean, we don't even see Phoenix in this shot. I don't know why this picture was taken. I guess this picture was taken by the crime scene investigator people. The CSI homies. This was what they found at the crime scene, I'm assuming. And then, of course, we have... Oh! Oh? Oh. Apparently, we can examine. This is new. Or at least... this I shouldn't say this is new. We were able to examine stuff before, but this is like... Next level, three-dimensional di three new. Anyway, grape juice. How long has it been since I drank grape juice? Oh, sorry, this is Apollo's voice. <laughs> grape juice? How long has it been since I drank grape juice, man? Why do I keep doing surfer voice? I need to stop. I'm almost tempted to just do the same shit. Same voice for Apollo and Phoenix, you know what I mean? Like, just make it the same fucking voice. Also, my throat is dying. Sorry, I just keep having to clear my throat because it's like, I'm getting that morning trope, man. So apparently this was an extra episode from the first game when it was ported to the DS. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, apparently this is Mr. Wright's favorite drink. I wonder how well it goes with borscht. Um, okay. We checked that. Anything else we can check on this bottle? Check the bottom. Oh, this feature was added. Not the case. I got you. The bottle is completely empty. Okay. I didn't think there was anything in it, but sure. So the bottle's empty. Uh huh. Still has the cap on it, interestingly enough, but I don't know if that matters. Because in this picture, it doesn't have the cap. Does that matter? I don't know. He never touched the murder weapon, but it has his prints on it. So, this is the this is the this is the contradiction because it has his prints. Yet he said he never touched the weapon. So, there you go. Let's present it. Objection! Booyah! So you didn't say. Uh, so you say you didn't touch the murder weapon. This grape juice bottle. So he does have a deeper voice. Maybe I should just. But the thing is, I, do I really want to give him a deeper voice? Like, I don't have a deeper voice to do other than, like... I can't do this guy's voice like that. He's just like, OBJECTION! I uh. <laughs> guess I could just, like... I guess I could just make him more serious. Like, kind of like what I did with Edgeworth. Because with Edgeworth, I basically just did my normal voice, but I talked more like... Like, I said every word very distinctly. I didn't really change my voice for Edgeworth because Edgeworth and Phoenix did all the talking, right? So I was like, I couldn't. Doing voices for both of them was would have been rough. So if I do the edgy voice, be more like, so you say you didn't touch the murder weapon, this grape juice bottle. But see, he's so nervous. I feel like this voice has got to be reserved for after his first trial. Right? So I said, uh, <laughs> um, you're. Come on, Phoenix. Give me something here, homie. Something the matter, Mr. Justice. Hehehe. <laughs> Too bad our new defense attorney never learned how to play dumb. What's this, Mr. Payne? I examined the bottle in question, you see. And it was covered with the defendant's fingerprints. O okay. Huh. Objection! <laughs> Jesus. Apparently it was a shout. No need to shout, Mr. Justice. I can hear you just fine. Uh, 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 <laughs> Excess yelling can damage the judge's ears and our case. What about my cords of steel? <laughs> anyway. What's so strange about the fingerprints on a bottle in a restaurant? Well, that's true. The prints alone don't prove... <laughs> Oh, they wouldn't prove a thing if they were normal fingerprints. Huh? 
Put the fingerprints on the murder weapon. We're upside down. Wait, what? Upside down? What does that mean? It means that he was holding the bottle inverted. And there can be only one reason for that. Um, sure. Yes. To brain someone with the bottle. Oh, damn. He brained him, dog. Also, this, this like, objection music goes pretty hard. It's not quite the intensity of doop to 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 doop beep boom. It's not quite intense on that level yet, but it's still good. It's good shit. Ah! Wow. Already wrecked Apollo? Damn. <laughs> Mr. Gavin, uh see I'm now I'm reverting back to this because of the way he's complaining. I feel like for this first case. I don't mind making him sound like a little bitch titties because he's so fucking nervous. But maybe as the cases go on, I'll make him a little less nervous about things. <laughs> I think things just took a turn for the worse, sir. Oh, I see no problem, Justice. Huh? The only thing that matters is the truth. There's a good reason for everything. You'll see. Defendant, can you explain your fingerprints on this bottle to the court? I stand by my plea of silence regarding the murder. For now. Wow, Phoenix. Why are you playing all coy? Like, like you're so cool. <laughs> hmm, not very cooperative, are you? This could hurt your case. I'm sure he's co uncooperative because he's hiding something. There must be some reason. Objection. Your Honor, it's, you seem to have forgotten something. And what might that be, Mr. Gavin? On the night of the crime, who was it who reported the murder to the police? Reported? Well, that was the defendant, Mr. Wright. But still, that... Really? Um, yeah, well, according to the case file, the murder was reported from the near from near the scene by a call from the defendant's cell phone. So he reported himself. Why would you self-report a murder? Unless you, like, feel bad about it and you did it, you know what I mean? Why would you do that? We were taking the rap for somebody else, I guess. But even so, doesn't seem to be the case here on either count. Near the scene? Ugh. Let's look at a diagram at the murder scene, of the murder scene, shall we? And I'll tell you this, Omega, this game is always an objection battle. That is what Phoenix Wright games or Ace Attorney games are all about. The victim was murdered in a small room in a basement two floors down from the ground level. Of course, cell phones can't get reception so far down. The defendant used the stairs in this hallway to go above ground. Okay. The call came from the first floor of the restaurant. I see. And this is the phone that made the call. Okay, add that to the record, y'all. Right cell phone. Alright. The defendant could have just fled the scene of the crime if he so chose. If he so chose. Yet he fulfilled the, his duty as a citizen and reported it to the authorities. And you claim he's being uncooperative? Ah. Uh. Nice save, Mr. Gavin. I'd better not waste this. Uh. I think the prosecution has toyed with our client enough for the time being. Toyed? I assure you, no one's more serious about... What was it you said? The defendant was in the room the very moment that the crime occurred. How can you possibly know this? That's a good question. How indeed? The answer is simple, Your Honor. The prosecution has a decisive witness. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're as good as they say you are. So someone else was in the room the night of that crime? That must mean they witnessed the crime. Oh. Uh. Everything... Oh, sorry. Man, my voices are all mixed up right now. Everything up until now has been just a warm-up, Justice. Are you ready? I can't wait for this Kristoff guy to not be hanging out on every trial. Because he feels like... This feels like Phoenix and Mia in the first trial of the first game. Or in every game, really. Someone's always there to, like, walk the main character through it. Meaning Phoenix through the first three trials. Actually, in the third game, it was Mia. And she had, like, Diego or whatever the hell his name was. 